Hey future doctors, this is Dr. Sharon and welcome to Neat Buddy. Today in this video, I'm going to provide you every single detail about AFMC selection procedure. This is a must watch video if you are AFMC aspirant. From starting till end, every single aspect of AFMC selection will be covered. So without wasting much time, let's get started. First about the course duration and the bond. MBBS at AFMC is for four and a half years like any other medical college followed by one year of compulsory internship. Now this compulsory internship is carried out after you are commissioned as medical officers in one of the three forces, Army, Air Force or Navy. At the time of admission itself, you are made to sign a bond stating that after completion of four and a half years of MBBS, you will either join the armed forces or pay the bond amount. The bond amount for this year is 69 lakhs. The seat structure of AFMC. There are a total of 150 seats, 145 plus 5 of which 5 are for foreign nationals, 145 are for Indian nationals. Of this, 115 seats are for boys and 30 seats are for girls. Now with that background, let's start with the selection procedure of AFMC. Selection of AFMC occurs in two stages. First is NEET 2025, which is done. Now AFMC will open a registration window during which you'll have to register for AFMC if you want to take admission in AFMC. Once the registration window is closed, AFMC will release a cutoff and list of 2000 shortlisted students who have cleared the cutoff and are eligible for the next state screening. This 2000 student list consists of 1600 boys and 400 girls. The second stage of screening occurs in AFMC once you are called. This comprises of your toilet test, your psychological assessment test, an interview and medical examination. Last year's cutoff. For boys it was 656, for girls it was 675. This year the cutoff is expected to be much lower due to increased difficulty of NEET 2025. I've already uploaded a video on the same, you can go and watch it. Now let's start with the second state screening of AFMC, which is the reason why I made this video. First is your test of English language comprehension, logic and reasoning. This is an online computer based test of 80 marks. You will be given 40 questions for duration of 30 minutes. For every correct answer, you will get plus 2 marks. For every incorrect answer, 0.5 will be deducted. So out of total 40 questions, you have to answer in 30 minutes, plus 2 for every correct, minus 0.5 for every incorrect, total marks of 80. Next is your psychological assessment test. As the name is suggesting itself, this is a medical checkup of your brain. It's not a test like toilet, so there is no marks for it. It is just a way to see how you perceive things and how your psychology is. So you just have to pass this exam and be psychologically fit to be selected. Next is interview probably the most important aspect of second stage screening because it carries the highest weightage and it is the deciding factor on what your position is going to be in the final merit list of afmc it is carried out by board of officers they are going to ask you questions you'll have to reply to them my only tip over here is do not lie they know when you are lying and your further questions will be built upon your answers. So if you are truthful, your interview is going to be great. I'll be uploading a separate video on tips of interview and how to prepare for interview of AFMC. But right now, remember, interview is for a total of 50 marks and this 50 marks carries a lot of weightage. And finally, medical examination. AFMC gives a lot of importance to medical examination. You have to be medically fit to be considered for admission into this college. It does not matter how great your interview was. It does not matter how great your toiler was. It does not matter how high you scored in NEET. If you are considered medically unfit, you will not be allowed to take admission. Medical examination includes examination of everything from your ear examination by an ENT specialist, eye examination by ophthalmologist, a medical specialist examining you, a surgeon examining you, various investigations including chest x-ray, blood investigations, ultrasound, abdomen, 
everything is done in AFMC to find out and rule out any possible abnormalities that you might have. AFMC in its latest browser, AFMC 2025, has released list of diseases that are considered unfit, the eye criteria for AFMC as well as the height weight criteria. I will be uploading a separate video on complete medical criteria of AFMC. But right now, remember, everything, everything is examined by the specialist over there. And finally, different board of doctors are going to decide whether you are to be considered fit for AFMC or not. Everything that I explained to you occurs in two days time period during which you'll have to stay in Pune and report to AFMC. Once everything is done, you are medically fit. Final merit list of AFMC is prepared. How is it prepared? We know total marks of NEET is 720. To this, 80 marks of Toiler is added. Out of total 800 marks, whatever score you will get, it is divided by 4 so that you get a score out of 200. Now to this 200, your score of interview is added and the final merit list is prepared based on your score total out of 250 marks. That is why I was saying that interview holds a lot of weightage. This 50 marks of interview is added after the division is done by 4. That is why interview is very, very, very important. For example, if you scored 560 in NEETS 2025, 68 in Toiler, then your total score out of uh, 800 will be 628. To this, if there is some special marks that is added, special marks includes if your parents have served in armed forces, whether Army, Air Force, Navy, or any other forces, if they are retired, all these candidates are given few extra marks. These are not very significant. So if your parent are not serving in armed forces, doesn't mean that you are at disadvantage. But yeah, some special marks is given to them. So total is calculated out of 200. That is, your 628 will be divided by 4, which comes out as 157. Now, if you got 40 marks in interview, then your total marks out of 250 will be 197. Now, a merit list will be prepared based on this marks out of 250. Once the merit list is prepared, you will be called for the admission process. And during the admission process, like I explained in the starting itself, you will be made to sign a bond. So that is the entire AFMC selection procedure in maximum detail. I hope that solved a lot of your queries. If not, I'm available down in the comment section. In coming days, I'm going to upload video on the medical examination and interview as well. So stay connected. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.